Okay. I think I am on live now. If anybody is there, I'm not sure. I can't see anyone now. If anyone is there, just say hi and leave me a message. That would be wonderful. Just so I know that we're on. Okay. Oh, I see some people popping up. Okay, I'll get started here. Okay, my name is Shannon. I am the owner of All Things Newly Rustic. And today I have this Singer sewing machine that I've been working on for the week that I painted in what's called Mermaid's Tail by Country Chic Paint. We're going to decorate the sides today with um, Redesign with Prima's new paper. Hi from New Jersey. Hi Patricia. Welcome and thank you for joining me. Hi Tammy. Okay, we're working. Yay. So today we're going to decorate the sides of this table with what is called the New Decoupage Paper by Redesign with Prima, the Lavender Fleur. It's a very pretty paper. I've already cut one piece to do the one side and we're gonna cut the other piece to um, decorate the other side as well. So this is what the paper looks like. It's a beautiful purple and I know the lighting is not great. Hello from Oregon, yay. I know the lighting is not super great in my house, but it's, it's a very, very light purple, and it goes really, really well with this color called Murmur's Tail by Country Chic Paint. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead after, and we're gonna highlight um, like the sides with a gold, with Redesign with Prima's Gold. I was gonna use a Finabear wax, however, uh, the wax that I intended on using really wasn't a fit for this color. So we're going to use a redesign with Prima Gold called Eternal. Hello, Monica. Oh, Monica's here. Monica is also a content creator for Redesign with Prima as well as myself. She's here. If I can't answer any of your questions online, I can either answer them after or Monica from Half Past Floor Designs, she can help you answer them as well. So let's get started. You will need a very, very good pair of scissors. This paper is, is similar to, to a, a fabric. It's quite thick. Um, it's quite durable. And it stays on really well with the clear coat. Today I'm using Country Cheek clear coat. Okay. So I've already cut a piece out for this side. And I'll show you guys how it looks. And that's how it looks. That's how it's going to go on the side. Now, I do have a piece in the bottom here. Like, I do need to even it out. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I want to make sure it goes all the way up. And make sure you get steady hands too. <laughs> so easy to work with. Yes, this is my second time doing decoupage. My first time, um, I did it when the new releases came out and I did them on side tables. So this is my second time. It's super easy. I will show you guys how to do it. So I'm just cutting the bottom kind of sort of even here. I'm trying anyways. And I want the part that I cut to go up here. Because this part is the end of the decoupage paper. So that part is really, really straight. So I can see now I need probably a good half an inch off the top here. You guys can go ahead and measure it. I didn't measure this, I just kind of eyed it, but if it makes you feel more comfortable to measure the dimensions of the piece you need for the decoupage, you go right ahead. That would be perfect in my opinion as well. Okay. Right. 
So the paper is super easy to cut. I'll bring you guys down more so you guys can see what I'm doing. It is easy to cut, but you do have to be careful and you do, do want very good scissors with this. I think we're getting pretty close. Now there's one side of the paper, I'm not sure if you guys can see in my light, that is darker than the other side. You definitely want the darker side of this paper and that is this side, so. Oh, and by the way, I haven't sealed the sides here. I have sealed the rest of this piece because it makes it easier for the wax to, be, to, to glide on. But I have not sealed this because that is what the clear coat, the purpose of the clear coat will do for this. So, okay, just bear with me, I'm still cutting. And you're never in a hurry whenever it comes to DIYing. You should never be in a hurry. You don't really need to be in a hurry. Um, it's fun to go through the process. I always take my time with each piece of furniture I do. It takes me about a week. I like to let things dry for a day, you know, continue and so on and so forth. So I'm going to need a tiny bit more down here and on the side. And this paper is so, so easy to work with. Um, I know it says paper, but it's not quite like a paper. And I'm not sure, Monica, do you know what these um, these papers are made out of? I, know, I remember, I think it was mulberry. Is it mulberry paper these ones are? I'm not sure exactly. But they do have a very nice fiber in them. If you can see. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for joining me. Where is everybody from? I am from a small town in High River, Alberta, Canada. Um, today, the weather is very, very nice. We've, we've been snowed in, or not snowed in, but snowed on for the past week here. So it's nice to see the sun. Okay, I think I'm trying to figure out if I should cut some more and I think Okay, I'm gonna cut a tiny bit on the side here. And then maybe a tiny, tiny bit on the ends. From London, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Monica, you don't know, that's okay, yeah. Uh, I'll research that after. Okay, I got a tiny bit more here that is not even, and it's okay, because I'm gonna even it right now. But I, I think it was mulberry. I think mulberry sounds very familiar to the makeup of these papers. Okay, I'm gonna make this go up the lip a little bit here. Make sure it's even here. I'm sorry guys, be patient with me. I'm still cutting. From Illinois, so nice to have you. I already knew that about Monica though. 
And if you guys are just joining me, my name is Shannon. I'm the owner of All Things Newly Rustic. I'm also a content creator for Redesign with Prima. And here today, I'm showing you how to use the new Redesign with Prima's Lavender Floral Decoupage Paper. It just came out. It is new. Um, you can find it at your retailer, your, your ne nearest retailer, or you can also go online at redesignwithprima.com and find it there. I, I'm pretty sure the retailers all have it now. Okay. I think we're ready to put it on now. I just wanted to make sure it was relatively um, even, but because it's a, probably the same color, I'm gonna move you guys up. It's relatively the same color as, actually I am gonna cut it a little more. Thank you for your patience, guys. I mean, I'm gonna cut the top a little bit more But because this paper is relatively the same color, you won't really see a whole lot of flaws or anything like that in the paper if you're going to go under a lip like that and seal it. And that's what I plan on doing exactly. But like I said, they are relatively easy to put on. My hands are not so steady today, but that's okay too. Can you guys see that okay? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put from Jersey. Oh, I'm not sure where that is, but welcome and thank you for joining me. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and right now I'm using the Country Cheek Paint Clear Coat and I'm using that to adhere the Do Cupid's paper to this part. And like I said, it is a clear coat. It is clear, and we're gonna go ahead and seal it afterwards as well. So the clear coat looks like this, kind of looks like a glue. If you guys have worked with it before, you know what clear, what clear coat is and how it looks. And it goes on clear. Like I said, I haven't waxed this piece. I haven't done anything but paint this piece. You want to go even? Like that. Just use any any brush. I just got this brush from Home Depot. Um, any brush will do. You don't want to really use a brush that you're going to be painting with and using clear coat with. I always have different kind of brushes for that. I'm going to put a little bit more on here. I hope you guys can see that. I know it's clear and the light in because of this color, you can hardly see it. Um, but it is very, very, very clear. Okay. No, sorry if I'm whacking you. Put it from one edge to the other. Okay, I'm trying to get it even. <laughs> I'm trying to get it even on my piece here, so bear with me. But as you can tell, it makes it super easy. You're not gonna have it dry immediately, so it will give you lots of room to work with and straighten. Like I have very much trying to do right now. Okay.
Okay, now we are going to seal it. We are going to add a coat, a clear coat on top of this. I am hoping to bring you guys up a whole lot closer here. I'm not sure if you can see that. But when this dries, it is not coming off. I am going to go ahead. I'm going to show you guys how to seal it. You can wait or you can do it right away. And I'm going to do it right away just to ensure that it does stick properly and it's not going to it's not going to come off and it looks so good right now. Like I said, I have this entire piece waxed um, with a clear wax. I use the clear wax because we're also going to highlight this piece after we're done the decoupage. Just make sure you cover the entire piece all over. And so there's a little bit of the decoupage paper going up here. Seal that as well. Oh, from Quebec. Hello, Carol from Quebec. Thank you for joining me. And for all of those who have just joined me, my name is Shannon. I'm the owner of All Things Newly Rustic. And today I'm showing you how to use Redesign with Prima's Lavender Floral Decoupage Paper. Now, I also want to tell you this is my second time doing decoupage. It is super, super easy to do. It won't be my last time, that's for sure. This stuff is, is so beautiful. And it is, it, it is relatively on the thick side. Okay, I'm gonna put a little more on here. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you like the, do you like the patterns in it? I think it looks beautiful, very beautiful. Okay, so that's how you do decoupage paper on that one side. Let's work on the other side. And so just so you guys know, I did put molds on the front here. So the molds are called, this is the mold Victorian Rose. We're gonna highlight those today after the decoupage paper is put on the other side. So let's move. Let's move on to the other side here. What is the weather like, Carol, in Quebec today? I'm from High River, Canada, and the weather is very beautiful here. What about everyone else? What's the weather like where you guys are from? Okay, if you are just joining me, I am, I am designing this, um, thanks Jill, hello Jill. I'm designing this table with Redesign with Prima's new decoupage paper. So I've already taken a piece out of, of this side and you will see how much more there is to work with here. So it comes in a 19 by 30 sheet and paper like this, you can reuse it it would do many projects. I, 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 I good several projects, that's for sure. Okay. And this piece does have a top flap to it, like sewing machines do, but they're off right now and I'm gonna put them on later when I'm done, done this project. Okay. And I really, really wanted to remove this piece because it's kind of in the way. And that's what, rainy and cold. Oh, I'm sorry, Monica. <laughs> maybe, maybe you are getting our weather. Because <laughs> it has been so cold here and snowy, very snowy. So I'm deciding this, you can measure it, you can do you can do anything like that, but right now I'm just kind of eyeing it, seeing where I need to cut it. And I always leave a, a little more than what I need. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut across this one. 
Yeah, always, always leave more than what you need. Um, you don't want to, like, go too short, because then you might have to start over with a new piece if it doesn't fit properly. And like I said before, you guys need a really, really good pair of scissors. This is a paper. It is a relatively thick paper. Very durable. Okay, once again, I'm just going to eye it here. Take your time. Take your time. You want to do it as good as you can. You don't need to rush. Okay. So, I think we're getting there. I just need to cut a little bit more off here. Has anyone here online right now, has anyone done treat decoupage before? Or tried it? If you haven't, it's a lot of fun and it makes your pieces look amazing. I just did a pair of tables a couple weeks ago, not about two weeks ago now, for the Sneak Pre Premiere, and they had decoupage paper on them as well. Okay, so I'm gonna cut maybe about a half an inch or so off the top. Like I said, you can do a measurement, you can use measurements, but I'm just eyeing it. I'm trying as hard as I can to cut it straight. <laughs> no, you haven't tried it yet? It's super fun, Liz. Yes, yes, Monica, that's right. You can sand around anything that hangs over the edges. This one I most likely will do that for as well. But on the other side, it has a lip that I just put under. So it was just a tiny bit going underneath and you can't see that. But because I have this thing in the way here, I'm going to have to cut it a little bit closer to the, to the edge. Um, well, I am going to do that right now. <laughs> and we're almost done doing the decoupage on this part. Like I said, one part of the decoupage paper is a lot darker. Well, it's not a lot darker, but it is more visibly darker than the other side. So just make sure you have the darker piece and you will be able to see it. Okay. I just wanna do the edges just a tiny bit more. And then we'll add this. Okay, I think this one is pretty close to ready to go in on. with this and I am gonna put this on and I'm gonna I'm gonna sand off everything but I guess I guess I can probably sand that piece off too so thank you Monica okay can you guys see this properly loving those colors yes they're very spring like right 10 degrees Celsius 
I think it's pretty warm like that here also. Is there still snow on the ground, Carol, in Quebec? <laughs> okay. So, today I'm using to seal it. You can use any kind of clear coat to seal this, but today I'm using the Country Cheek Clear Coat. So what I'm gonna do right now, oh, this paint color, it's called Mermaid's Tail by Country Cheek Paint. It's beautiful, it's like a, a lavender, it's a light purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a layer of the clear coat on. And like I said earlier, you don't need to use, and I would suggest not using a good brush for your clear coat. Whenever you use a clear coat, keep them separate from your paint brushes. And if you're just joining me, my name is Shannon. I'm the owner of All Things Newly Rustic. I'm also a content creator for Redesign with Prima. And today, I am showing you how to use their new decoupage papers called Lavender Fleur. And right now, we are applying them. And I already have pre-cut it. So I have a layer of the Country Cheek Clear Coat. So the clear coat will adhere, will make the paper, the decoupage paper, adhere to the table here. Now I do apologize if I'm gonna block you. I just wanna be able to do this somewhat straight. Now this side doesn't have a lip like the other side, so it can go under, under as well. Yep. Now it is overlapping a little bit, but Monica had a very, very good idea, but I'm gonna actually listen to her on this one because there's no edges or anything like this. It's gonna be very easy to sand the top part of this and the bottom part that is going over the edge. So I am gonna add a layer of clear coat on top of it as well, just to make sure that it does seal properly. And then sand those edges at the bottom. To get them off. This, I kind of want to seal down maybe. No, it's okay. As you can see, the most that you need to do with this is just really ensure your lines are straight and, and all that. What is the moving bar? Okay, so this is this is a sewing machine. It's a Singer sewing machine. So the bar, um, I have I have tops for this. There, there's two panels that go on top of there that essentially would hide the sewing machine. And so those panels, one of them, flop, they flop out, and this is what holds the top part. But I don't have them on right now. I will be putting those on later today. Okay. I am gonna show you guys how to highlight this. I get a lot of people ask me how I highlight my furniture. And I put either Redesign with Prima or I put Finnebear Wax on virtually every single one of my pieces. So I'm gonna show you guys how to highlight it. Um, today, today I am using the redesign with Prima. I had a last minute, a last minute change. I was gonna use the Finnevair, which I use on absolutely like most all of all of my furniture as well as redesign with Prima. So this is called Eternal, and I've used this so many times, and it comes in a little tube like that. And all you need to do, we're gonna start by highlighting the flowers here. So all you need to do is put the most tiniest amount on your finger like that. Actually, that's probably even maybe too much. Start by going around, and I'm telling you, this is my most favorite thing to do 
And I'm not sure. Can you guys see that properly? Okay, I'll do what I can. <laughs> So we're gonna highlight, we're highlighting the flowers here. This is called Eternal Gold by Redesign with Prima. And I wanted to show you how I highlight my pieces. Super easy, it glides super, super easy. Can you guys see that? So you just put a tiny bit on your finger uh, of, of the wax. You do not need a whole lot. Like I said before, I've already waxed this piece. Actually, we'll, do, we'll go around the other flower. I've already waxed this piece with a clear with a clear wax. It makes the it makes this wax go on a whole a whole lot easier. It makes it glide easier. So just kind of go around the mold like that. Oh, this is going to be so nice, you guys. I can tell right now. And I'm not sure. Can you guys see the go going on? It's probably not as blingy on the camera, but I'm telling you, this stuff is super pigmented. So then let's just go around. I'm just going to go around the edges here. Highlight the edges. It's not coming up as nice as I thought it would, but. So what I'm gonna do is just give it a little bit of a dimension. Like that. It may not look like a lot, but it is a lot, I promise. So, is that coming up? And if you ever make a mistake, What's good about having your piece waxed first is if you ever make a mistake like I did here, I have a little bit of clear wax on my my um, my um, cloth and it works like an eraser. So that's what's good about using wax first. Okay, that's better. Can you guys see better now? Okay. So pretty much just go around your piece and highlight. So I've done the flowers, I'm gonna do the knobs as well. And I will be showing you guys pictures, I will be showing them on my page, um, all things newly rustic. I will also be showing them on the Redesign with Kima page. Hopefully later today or um, tomorrow. See, so that's how easy it is to use the gold wax. Super, super easy. Go around all the edges here. Give it so much more dimension. Like you're never done with painting. Well, I'm never done with painting. I always need to add more and more and more. But I'll tell you, Redesign with Primo Wax and the Finnevere Wax are a must-have. If you're into furniture or you want to try it, you can get both Finnevere and you can get the Eternal Wax um, online on RedesignWithPrimas.com site or your local, your local retailer. So, that's pretty much it. I hope I explained everything properly and how it should be explained. But if you guys have any questions or comments, you can personal message me on All Things Newly Rustic. Um, I have a website, allthingsnewlyrustic.ca. I have a Facebook page, Instagram, and believe it or not, I even started TikTok. So you can find me at all those social outlets. You can ask me any questions. Like I said, uh, today we did the coupage. And then we went ahead and we highlighted the entire piece. But I will show you guys better pictures either today or tomorrow. So, because um, the lighting, the lighting is always not what it should be. But this piece is absolutely gorgeous, 
and I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you.